this is just getting ready for elk season. You got to do this stuff. You know, you want to be successful, but you're going to have a lot better time if you're in good shape. And that's why I've been prepping for this hunt. I mean, I never stopped prepping for elk hunting. I'm like a, it's just a lifestyle. I always am trying to work out hard. Yeah, with this on my back. But here with this last month, I really want to ramp it up. You know, add this 40 pound weight vest. I'm doing the five gallon bucket carries up the hill, mixing in the split mall just because I think it's, you know, good core all the way through just to do something else and keep it, you know, being productive, get some wood split. But uh, as this month progresses, I'm gonna just keep getting harder and harder and harder as I go, you know, with the weight vest. I'm gonna put some sandbags in my pack. I've done already a few pack workouts this year. So that way, September, man, I'm gonna head out there and then it's the real deal. Big dog. Jesus. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. This is awesome drive up I here. I can't believe you made it all the way up here from Flatland, Florida. Yeah, well, the bad part was having to go to Hank's house until him first. Dude. That was like a Parker. Good, it was like a good warm up going to Hank's, you know? Six hours out of the way when we had a 29 hour drive. It I bet fun. he gave you some good one liners you can use this week. You know? No, you know he did. He told me, shut up, sit there, and hold the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, what do you think of Britain's new rig? It looks good. Yeah. It's built for the mountains. Mm -hmm. Put it to use. What'd it? you see tonight? I saw a few things. You got one you gonna go after? <clears throat> I got a bunch, a couple of you should go after. Look at you, man. I can't believe you're all bundled up like that. Dude, it's a cold ride. I know it's cold. Wait till you get on that four-wheeler. Well, I ain't getting on the four-wheeler. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was 34 this morning. 92. Yeah. Man, oh man. Look at Britain's man, stash. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Stash looks good I too, got the man. elk stash. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. I didn't know we were doing elk stash, which I can't grow a good I one got, anyways. So. I got a razor. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fix it up. Man, oh man. Well, we're here. We Let's see. Big dog. Nice. You get special treatment. We, yeah. we get the ultimate color. <laughs> I don't know about that. Good, but that'll be good. That's going to be great. great. Uh, dude, y'all should see the elk I saw. I saw six shooter bulls up there tonight. Tonight? I don't want to hear about them. We're going to eat. Oh, boy. We, we don't <laughs> want to hear about them. Oh, One boy. was straight yeah. black from wallowing. No way. Yeah, he was in pine. Dude, there's elk everywhere. I love it. And there was going to be great. Four, no. There was five shooters in Tulare. It's the guy. Yeah, the guy talking right here. What? It's exactly. the guy talking. Boys, I didn't know about that moon last night. Yeah. Yeah. I'm set up for myself because I'm fancy. Oh, I got a message. <laughs> Lord, thank you for this opportunity to be out here with great friends and a new friend here and just bless us with wisdom in our decisions, Lord, and just bless us to make great decisions and being in the right place at the right time. Lord, we just thank you so much for the opportunity be out here in your beautiful creation to do this. Be in our hearts, be in our thoughts. Keep us safe, Lord, and keep smiles on our faces. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
thermals in those breezes consistent, we're gonna have to be really cautious because we, we think we're kinda not that far in the wheelhouse where these elk are supposed to be. So it's pretty critical to play the wind and uh, we just gotta do the right things, not be impatient, take our time, listen. If we can figure out where the elk are, we can use the wind to our advantage. Um, but for now, we're just taking it slow and easy until that wind gets a little more consistent for us. Gotta add to that, Robbie. I think he pretty much nailed it. ridges ago we had a bunch of cows and a spike kind of come down and Louie did a great job calling he had those cows fired up talking back and forth with him um, now we're just gonna kind of bed down for a little bit because now we're at this kind of mid-morning wind swirl and it's a pretty windy day today the, the winds really picked up so we're just gonna sit here and make a little bit of coffee hang out uh, listen for some bugles and kind of glass these different drainages up here and we're gonna do the best we can Enjoy ourselves. Y'all stay tuned now. Y'all stay tuned. What? No, I was just went like this. No. I went like this. I just went like I didn't go any harder than that. Dude. I barely I mean. I thought I felt it move. So then I pushed it up and just like this. Not sure what it is yet, but I'll have to think about it. The lesson is get better, Kyle. Don't screw up. Plan more time. Get up earlier. Don't be in a rush. Make sure your sights don't fall off during your Right, double check your screws.